What up y'all, Dax here again, and today we're going to talk about the DJI Mob 7. Had a few guys asking um, about the build on it, kind of how to, what have you. Um, I don't plan on do, doing a whole build for you right here, but I uh, figured we could discuss a little bit because there's a couple little tweaks or uh, um, little mods you've got to make in order to kind of pull it off. Nothing complicated. Um, Real simple, but you know, if you sit down to start to build one of these, you might kind of get tripped up at the very beginning when it comes to the frame. Um, so, figure I'd just kind of disassemble this one and discuss whatever comes up. Um, kind of share this, some information with you, so maybe uh, maybe you can have that when you start to build one of your own. Um, Performance-wise, durability. Uh, this thing is it's. I, it's great. I love it. Um, I've crashed, I've crashed, I've crashed. Concrete, still racking, 25 feet in the air, tumbles to the concrete floor. Only thing that's happened so far is I've lost props. Pop Props have popped off, but uh, nothing's, nothing's burnt up, nothing's knocked off, nothing's been damaged or anything like that. The, the vistas and the air units are extremely durable, extremely well built. Um, I've, I have yet to have one fail on me, uh, after, I don't know, a couple years of, uh, of, uh, decasing them and stuff. Um, if anything goes out, it's usually the boards. AIOs usually aren't the most, uh, durable. Um, but as far as the VTX, the DJI VTX, you really can't go wrong. These things just are, are tanks. They keep going and keep going and keep going. Um, as with any digital build, Got the Mob HC0 Mob 7 here. Um, they are just a tad bit on the heavier side than you would like for a, for a 2S uh, whoop, but progress is being made. Um, so with that said, let's just go ahead and, and kind of go over the disassembly and stuff like that. So let's talk about the canopy first. So first things first with the canopy, let me get a zoom close up in here there's a couple different ways you can you can mount your camera you can use use it with a frame plug or not see if you can get a look at that and this simply slides right in here underneath in this little gap right here and it's simply if you want a little bit more rigid rigidity in your in your mount so it just pops in there's a there's two different ones one is taller than the other one is taller than the other in combination with which canopy you want you can see here one is longer than the other you can mix and match these canopies with these plugs for a short one, tall plug, you can fly it without the plug like I'm, I'm doing right here, right now. Um, and that just adjusts the angle. You just figure out which, which, which you prefer. If you use the plug, you can run it just like that. You can put a dab of E6000 between this canopy and the plug and now that canopy will not go anywhere. There's a little groove in the plug. There's a little tongue on the bottom of the canopy. They fit snugly, dab at E6000, and now this camera won't do anything. Without the plug, the camera performs just fine. There's no, there's no uh, jello. Um, I've been flying it with and without the plug. Um, so all good's there. Without the plug, I was hoping it shaves off some more weight. Doesn't even register, but overall, of course, those little those little things do register. Um, on top here, instead of screws or uh, plastic nuts, I went with little TPU printed spacers. They're a tight M2. So they do not go, they do not fall off. 
they stay in place and uh, they've held up really well. And I just like the reason I went with them is because they just, I like white. They just kind of look better than the, the screws. It's purely for aesthetics. So let's peel. canopy top off all right so here's where I have my ELRS EP32 receiver. When Happy Model releases the board that comes with the HD0 whoop that has the uh, ELRS SPI receiver built into the AIO, I'll be able to remove this and hopefully they'll shave, shave a couple grams off. Uh, and it'll make a cleaner build obviously but when i remove this th this is 45 grams this is 41 grams the production model is 41 grams the pre-production model that was in many reviews was coming under 40 grams but the real life version is 41 grams this is 45 grams um and i don't know if you can see this or not but let me just kind of Put these back on for just a second. Let me show you something. Just snug that up just so. Can you see that? Let me zoom out. Can you see that? The DJI appears to be just a, a hair profile wise lower than the HD07. I was surprised to see that when, uh, when I got that out of the box. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little video on this before long too. This is, this, this is a, good, a good choice. All right, so let me pull this back up. So these prints for the canopy, the plug, the frame plug, and these standoffs, all these different size standoffs, they're on Thingiverse, and they're also in the video description so that you can, you can uh, print these off for yourself. I think these are like a two millimeter right here. These are, I believe, five, three, and I think this down here is a, I did them in black. These down here, are I believe a four millimeter I'm not quite sure so these standoffs why I went with TPU printed standoffs over gummies and stuff is simply for the ability to get the lowest profile on the Vista as possible these are these are structurally more firm than gummies Gummies like to buckle and, and ro kind of roll out from underneath two boards when you apply pressure and such. And so the, these, these TPU standoffs are much more rigid. They don't buckle, they don't roll, they don't tear. And so I use these so I can apply as much pressure as I need to on the right height, the right height in order to get uh, a, a low profile that, as you can see, is even lower than the HD0 version. All right, so let's pull this out. So as you can see here, the bottom of this mount has a standoff built in and is the first standoff in your stack. So we can pull this board up. 
there is there is your AIO. All right. These these black standoffs right here, I have chosen these at the right height to raise this just above just above this battery board right here. That way I can slide in a 2S battery and it's just it's just a hair underneath that battery connector. These these screws These screws are twenty five millimeter millimeter nylon, not glass nylon, nylon. The glass nylon, much more uh, shatter prone. And there's 25 millimeters run up through here. So you can see it's just a normal, just a normal build process. The only, the only caveat so far is placing some of the 3D printed spaces that I've got in, in the description under here to raise this up just above the battery tray, then using your first standoff as part of the, as part of the canopy. These are all, I believe, three millimeters, what have you. Um, the one caveat to mounting these, these posts on your frame, as you can see here, you have these four posts, but they're too tall. All right, so they all line up just like that. What you want to do to keep the, to keep the profile as low profile as possible, let's keep it as low. You want the CG as low as possible. You want to come in. Start with a finger drill. From the back side, I mean from the top side, and you want to drill these out. To th to M two. This right here is pretty much the only only hack you have to do on this whole build. Is that the right one? Yeah, okay. So after you do that one, step it up to the next size.
I'm just gonna make that hole wider and wider. All right, now then, come in with your snips. Snip it off. Go up to the next. And you go up to the next size. And this should be the this should be the last step up we have to do. Fortunately, these screws are, these nylon screws are Phillips head and not a socket, but it is what it is. Beggars can't be choosers. Just screw that in. The full 25 millimeters of the screw, you'll need the full, full length. All right, so there you go. That's how you do all four. Snip these off. Use your, use your finger drill from Amazon. Go up to M2 size. That will give you the lowest profile possible and plenty of, plenty of, of height to hold everything. After you run all four around, put your spacer, put your board on, run your battery through, make sure this is high enough. If it's not high enough, add a longer spacer. You get your board on, solder your battery lead, solder your uh, Vista board, solder your receiver. Once the uh, this board here has been discontinued, unfortunately, I must have bought the last board. Um, I am waiting for them to launch this this new X2 board with the uh, ELRS SPI on it, 12 amp. Um, I bought this Whoop because I'm going to disassemble it so I can put the Vista on here. But I'm going to fly this one around for a while, um, get a little time in it, then I'm going to disassemble. I'm going to remove the Whoop board and put a Vista on it, and the uh, and uh, see what the ending 
way it is. Use, use your first standoff right there. Three more. Put your Vista on. Put your Vista on. Put these on and you're done. Very simple. I hope that uh, answers a few questions. There's several people that were curious about how to build it and all that kind of stuff. Um, really, it's a normal build except for the, uh, except for starting your, your posts. All you gotta do is just cut your posts off, use a drill, step up, and then it's, it's just like any other build, mount your motors. Now, on this one, I'm running a 550, a Tattoo 550. So I did heat this up with the air gun, very ever so slight, and then shove a 550 in there to kind of stretch it out a little bit. Um, 2S 550 uh, Tattoo. Um, if you run a 4S, 4S is just fine. If you run 4S, slide your battery lead, tuck your, uh, tuck this, your uh, bounce lead, Let me show you. Tuck that in there. 2S450 works just fine. And so that snugs it up. So you may want to just run 450s. Um, if you run over a 550, you will have to stretch this out a little bit with a little heat and running it and shove a battery in it. Um, I hope. If you have any more questions on on the build just hit me up um, I don't mind answering uh, whatever questions you had I know a few people you are kind of curious so there it is if there's something I didn't explain very well just just hit me up in the comments and I'll, I'll answer those for you um, but honestly it's just like any other build except for the motor posts uh, the uh, stack posts just simply drill them out cut them down so you have the lowest profile whatsoever and uh, and find you a 12 amp uh, AIO to to run everything with. Happy Model hasn't released the their new 12 amp ELRS IO, AIO yet. Um, SPI AIO. Um, once that happens, I think you'll see this build shave off a couple more grams, fly even better. Um, I'm really impressed with how it handles, considering that. It, it's a 75 millimeter 1.2 watt whoop 1.2 watts on a whoop the range is crazy uh, I mean there just you can go so many places with this whoop that that any other whoop can't go to so it's a lot of fun I hope you you enjoy it yourself um, if you got any questions, like I said, just hit me up, um, hit them in the comments. That's it, folks. Appreciate it. Have fun. Peace out.